Mr. M presents Divisibility Rules 3 and 9. Hi everybody. I'm going to show you some divisibility rules you can use when trying to do mental math with a little bit larger numbers. Uh, this works with anything really, so you can go two digit all the way up. Uh, these are meant to help you figure out what numbers are factors of a larger number, or more importantly, can I take this large number, in this case let's say 357, can I divide it by 3 or by 9? Meaning, can I break it into groups of 3 or groups of 9? You can see how that would be important if you have a large number or something and you're trying to portion it out evenly. So, it's a pretty easy task. Let me show you how it works. The first thing I do is take my number 357. Now, this is meant to be for numbers that are a little larger than just basic mental math numbers. So these are numbers that I don't necessarily have on my you know, memorized times table. And what I want to do is I want to add the digits together. So I'm actually going to do 3 plus 5 plus 7. 3 plus 5 is 8, plus 7 is 15. Now this number is really important. What I need to do is look at this number and say, does this number that I get, this sum here of my three digits, does it divide by 3 or 9? The idea is, is that this sum, this 15 here, is going to be a lot smaller than this original larger number, so it's going to be a little easier for me to mentally divide. So sure enough, let's take a look. 15. Does 15 divide by 3? Yes, 15 divided by 3 equals 5. That means that 357 does divide by 3. Check. I can do the exact same thing with 9. Does 15 divide evenly by 9? Nope, it does not. So this does not divide evenly by 9. So I can say that 357 does divide evenly by 3, doesn't divide evenly by 9. So I can break 357 into groups of 3, uh, but I can't break it into groups of 9. Let's try another one here. 657, can I divide it by 3? Can I divide it by 9? I'll give you a chance to try this yourself first, pause the video, and then come back and we'll solve it together. Okay, let's see how you did. So what I'm going to do is take these numbers, add the digits. Hopefully I can do this mentally, or at least very quickly on paper. 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 plus 7 equals 18. Let's take a look at my numbers. Can I divide 18 by 3? Yes, 18 divided by 3 equals 6. That means that 3 is a factor of 657. Can I divide 18 by 9? Yes, 18 divided by 9 equals 2. I know that just because of my memorized multiplication. So yes, 657 also divides by 9. That means that I can break 657 into groups of 9 or into groups of 3. 